As we gather in this place today, Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Have your way. As we lay aside our own desires, sweep across our hearts with holy fire. Have your way. This is your heart day. This Mass is offered as a thanksgiving for the favor assisted by Leo Matthews' family, Jean, Jean Johnson's family, and today Maria Preeti and Stephen Vinod celebrate their, their birthdays, and Hyacinth Ramalingam celebrate their wedding anniversary. And this Mass is offered for peace and joy in the family of Clint Fertile and Andrea, for good health and peace in the family of M.J. Gilbert, for good health and safe travel of Nancy Jean. Let us pray that God may grant eternal rest to Murray, Eric, Sheila and Edmund's family, Manasseh, Sons and Andrew's families, Souls of Palaver Fraternity, Souls in Purgatory, Ceci Mary, Joyce Fernandez, Anna Kutti, George, K.V. Savia, Philomena Savia, Merlina Dominic, June, Regina Rona, Joseph Paul, Solomon, Tangamani, Philomena, Krabakaran, S. Mendoza, Florin Mendoza, Dr. Joseph Rebello, Marie Rebello, Antony Suarez, and Antonia Mal. Let's pray that God may grant them all eternal rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Every relationship with Jesus can be summed up in two words. Come and go. Jesus says, I have chosen you to be with me. And he adds, I will send you out to preach. We are called to be sent to announce the good news, the gospel. For failing to realize that we preach a sermon to all we meet by our actions, let us ask the Lord pardon. For our evil and revengeful thoughts, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For our bad and disrespectful words, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. For our sins of commission and omission, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 24, verses from 2 to 20. In those days, Saul took 3,000 chosen men out of all Israel and went to seek David and his men in front of the wild goat's rocks. And he came to the sheepfolds by the way, where there was a cave, and Saul went in to relieve himself. Now David and his men were sitting in the innermost parts of the cave. And the men of David said to him, Here is the day of which the Lord said to you, Behold, I will give your enemy into your hand, and you shall do to him as it shall seem good to you. Then David arose and stealthily cut off a corner of Saul's robe. And afterwards David's heart struck him, 
because he had cut off a corner of Saul's robe. He said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do this thing to my Lord, the Lord's anointed, to put out my hand against him, seeing he is the Lord's anointed. So David persuaded his men with these words and did not permit them to attack Saul. And Saul rose up and left the cave and went on his way. Afterwards, David also arose and went out of the cave and called after Saul, My Lord the King. And when Saul looked behind him, David bowed with his face to the earth and paid homage. And David said to Saul, Why do you listen to the words of men who say, Behold, David seeks your harm? Behold, this day your eyes have seen how the Lord gave you today into my hand in the cave. And some told me to kill you, but I spared you. I said, I will not put out my hand against my Lord, for he is the Lord's anointed. See, my father, see the corner of your rope in my hand. For by the fact like that I cut off the corner of your rope and did not kill you, you may know and see that there is no wrong or treason in my hands. I have not sinned against you, though you hunt my life to take it. May the Lord judge between me and you. May the Lord avenge me against you but my hand shall not be against you. As the proverb of the ancients says, out of the wicked comes wickedness, but my hand shall not be against you. After whom has the king of Israel come out? After whom do you pursue? After a dead dog, after a flea. May the Lord therefore be judge and give sentence between me and you and say to it, and plead my cause, and deliver me from your hand. As soon as David had finished speaking these words to Saul, Saul said, Is this your voice, my son David? And Saul lifted up his voice and wept. He said to David, You are more righteous than I, for you have repaid me good, whereas I have repaid you evil. And you have declared this day, how you have dealt well with me, in that you did not kill me when the Lord put me into your hands. For if a man finds his enemy, will he let him go away safe? So may the Lord reward you with good for what you have done to me to this day. And now, behold, I know that you shall surely be king, and that the kingdom of Israel shall be established in your hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm, let your response be, Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. For in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. Response. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. I call to you, God the Most High, to God who provides for me. May he send from heaven and save me, and put to shame those who assail me. May God send his loving mercy and faithfulness. Response. Have mercy on me, God. Have mercy. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth, for your mercy reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. Response. Have mercy on me, God. Have, Have mercy. mercy. Let's rise for the gospel acclamation. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
in christ god was reconciling the world to himself and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter three, verses thirteen to nineteen. Jesus went up on the mountain and called to him those whom he desired, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, so that they might be with him, and he might send them out to preach. and have authority to cast out demons he appointed the 12 simon to whom he gave the name peter james the son of zebedee and john the brother of james to whom he gave the name bonargus that is sons of thunder andrew and philip and bartholomew and matthew and thomas and james the son of alphaeus and thaddeus and simon the zealot and judas iscariot who betrayed him the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ a hostel warden had the habit of yelling at the boys in the hostel once he was confined to bed for a week with the severe inflammation of the vocal cords and so he could not speak for a week but only could whisper whatever he wanted to say to the boys but after he was cured he confessed that the boys were far more well behaved and good natured when he could speak to them in a whisper than when he used to shout at them dear friends the first reading is a beautiful exhortation of, on the need to repay evil not with evil but with good king saul was in search of david to have him killed he goes into the, the king saul goes into the cave and david gets an opportunity to kill saul but david spares the life of saul he did not take revenge he denied doing evil for evil The gospel of the day also presents Jesus who went about doing good to continue his noble task of doing good even in the face of evil Jesus chose 12 men as his disciples how about us doing evil for evil is bad doing nothing for evil is better and doing good for evil is best aba father let us be yours and yours alone set our hearts our spirits free make us lord your own through your goodness lord we pray bread of our labor and wine to cheer the heart which will soon be filled for us with the life of your son Abba Father let us be yours and yours alone set our hearts our spirits free make us lord your own pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the, may the lord, lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church 
Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours. He humbled himself and was born of the virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and parts of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy God of power and might, Earth and heaven sing Hosanna to your name. He is blessed who comes in the name of the Lord. Sing Hosanna in the highest. Praise the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and George, our bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, and the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. A mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, a chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co eternal life, May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to the apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let's offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you lamb of god you take the sins of all the world lamb of god you take the sins of all the world give us mercy and grant us all the peace of christ lamb of god you take the sins of all the world behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the, the word and, and my soul shall be healed spiritual communion prayer my jesus i believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot now receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and i unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen All to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live I surrender all I surrender all all to thee my blessed savior I surrender all all to Jesus I surrender humbly at his feet I bow worldly pleasures all forsaken take me jesus take me now i surrender i surrender all i surrender i surrender all all to thee my 
my blessed Savior, I surrender all. All to Jesus I surrender, make me Savior holy thine. May thy Holy Spirit fill me, may I know thy part divine. I surrender, I surrender all, I surrender, I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all, all to Jesus I surrender, now I feel the sacred flame, oh the joy of full salvation, glory, glory to your name. I surrender, I surrender all, I surrender, I surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Lord Jesus, who prayed that we might all be one, we pray to you for the unity of Christians, according to your will, according to your means. May your spirit enable us to experience the suffering caused by division, to see our sin and to hope beyond all hope. Amen. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? No turning back, no turning back. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and O thanksgiving, be every moment thy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 